give me guys filming myself here. Got a decent size iguana right there in the palm. Let's see if we can knock him out. Probably about only 25, 30 feet away. Oh, got you, Iguana. There he is on the ground. Shot. Yes, indeed. Got you, Iguana. Iguana solutions. Jessica here with Iguana Solutions. I just wanted to let all my shooting buddies know that although we shoot a lot of iguanas out of this tree, we actually get more iguanas alive than shot just gonna show y'all what I'm talking about so if you wonder why we're done at the job but you didn't see us finish shooting it's because we get a shitload of iguanas try to show them to y'all real quick there they are and then can see we get more live than shot so we noose our iguanas and catch them in traps and that's why we are able to move through these jobs iguana solutions I'm Kane he's got an iguana sitting in the corner of this house he just noticed us he's starting to lean we see. Got you, Iguana. You landed on the air conditioner. We gotta go grab you. Got you, Iguana. Iguana Solutions. Look at that shot. Got you, Iguana. One shot. Brocock Concept Light. There he is. Alright, the little guy's right there on the roof. This gun cannot reach those buildings in the background in a million years. Got him. Got you, Iguana. Iguana Solutions. Here's the little guy we just got over here off the roof. He's straight through the eye and it actually exited right in front of the other eye. Right here. Ooh. Got to be one eye. We're in a new spot 
at um, a property you have already seen, but we're usually shooting out of a big tree by a brown Mercedes. Today we're over in their courtyard. They have iguanas that live in the sewer system here and they run up the trees. So um, it happens to be a little sunny today and we found two big boys up in the tree. These trees are kind of thinned out so it's easy to spot them uh, for the most part. So uh, the first boy that we're shooting at, you guys might be able to see, I have to step right to see him and duck a little. His head is poking just above a large, large branch. Um, we would estimate that he is about 30, 25, 30 yards away. He's actually bobbing his head right now. Oh, he, just, he just scratched his own head. Here we go. He's going. Kind of hanging there, you see him? Yeah, it's a great shot placing it. Waiting for him to come down. He's shaking. We might just need him to not sink up. I want to go ahead and hit the second one. There's a second boy up here. We can drop. And he's right. So now let's just follow the main branch. He might want to get where I'm at. Over here's a green one. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. The wind just picked up one of them. Oh, got him right away. Seeing wiggling. Right in front of the eye on one of those shots. Nice. Oh, it's about to fall. Fall, 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 fall. Where'd you go? Got you, you got This is the shot I told you you could see I'd hit him right in front of the eye. He's still just tangled in those branches. I'm going to try to shoot him by the pelvis. He had been hit right behind the ear and right behind the eye. Got you, Iguana. Jessica back with the Guana Snipers. 
We've got our Brocock Concept Light, and we're gonna try to get this iguana out of the top of this uh, palm, I mean palm, this cypress tree. Um, he is facing to the left, and he's kind of horizontal at the very tip top of the tree with the brown stuff hanging, almost where the tree with the green leaves touches, just to the left of that. He's shaking. He's doing the shake. You see? Mm -hmm. He's in his tail screen. Yeah, yeah, good shot. Let me fill the up the way. magazine. He's upside down. Pretty uh, fancy magazine there. Fall off the tree. Oh, he's not gonna fall. He's just laying there dead. I'm gonna try to shoot him towards the back of the body. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. He's just laid out of there. So, Mr. Joey, when he comes down, I'll be back. <laughs> We've had this happen before here. Got you, Iguana. Of course he fell as soon as we turned off the camera. So, got you, Iguana. Here he is. Iguana solution. Whoa, good shot placement. This is where I hit him in the chest and he started to fall. And this is where I hit him in the head, but it's like at the back of his jaw. Look, it came out right behind his ear. These are the body shots we took to make him fall. Great shot. Got the big boy on the roof right here. Yeah, dude. Ooh. I'm going to go check in when he gets up. Tight work. Yes, sir. Shake at him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look out guys, a car is coming. Got you, Got you Iguana! Iguana! Jessica here with Iguana Snipers, this pretty big boy right up above us. Not sure if y'all can see. Oh, goodness. He is down. We gotta wait for all these cars to stop passing. He just laid out across that branch. We might be able to hit him and make him wiggle out. Ooh. Got you, Iguana. Iguana Solutions. There's the puffer fish, doing puffer fish things. Here he comes out into the light. I see you, puffer fish. We just had a spotted eagle ray pass by. I'm gonna try to post a little short video I caught of him. We were not expecting the eagle ray. Another puffer fish right here. He just did a little spin trying to pull stuff off of that log. They're fun to watch. Some people feed them around here. Another eagle ray. Here he is turning around. Another eagle ray. We're in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. January 22nd, 2021. This is the third eagle ray we've seen. This is the largest one. Clearly feeding in the shallows.
Eagle Ray. Iguana snipers. We've of course spotted an iguana in the tree. Um, this is a long-term property for us and they spotted a couple big ones that have wandered over from the neighboring properties. They recently cut down large ficus trees nearby. So there's a big orange boy right there in the tree. He keeps noticing us. He did not like that I just pointed at him. He ducked. I don't know if y'all noticed they respond to us while we're trying to shoot. I um, I've never really gone out shooting squirrels or anything, but I've been around them. It sure seems like a squirrel just sits there and keeps chewing nuts while you aim at him and shoot at him. If you start aiming at an iguana, he's going to duck behind the branch. He's going to move his head. It's going to become very difficult to hit. They actively elude you while you try to shoot them. About 20 yards away. Got you, Iguana. He's just a wiggle. Ooh. Ooh, got you, Iguana. Right there in front of the ear. Iguana Solutions. Robot concept light. Got you, Iguana. I'm going to go ahead and take this shot. Even though it might ricochet on the concrete, there's like a Clearly dirt embankment right behind it to catch uh, a pellet, but I am also shooting on low power, which is only about 12 foot pounds. Got you, Good boy. 